Good morning guys from England. Uh, I've just woke up and I was told that today our pallets will be arriving from Norway. So we're very excited because we've been waiting for this pallet for three weeks. Three weeks that we've been like sitting on the floor to do our dinner. Um, just because the, um, our dining room has a wooden floor and we prefer to just sit there because the kids are eating. We don't want any food throwing on the carpet because the rest of the house are carpeted. So yes, very excited to be able to get our pallets finally from Norway so we can have our dining tables and chairs, etc. And we can redecorate the whole house. So we were told that it will be today, so we shall see. Yes, yeah, stuff are here from Norway. So it's open, I don't need a key. <laughs> Yes. That's right, look. I think they're a bit too old, I think. Do you think? Okay. Yeah. Well, if it doesn't, we'll leave it outside. Yeah. Hello. So it's quite high. It doesn't fit the garage. So look, we have the piano back. Mm -hmm. This one is our table, mm -hmm. dining table. Look at the, uh, uh, the feet. <laughs> Wow, we've been waiting for this three weeks from Norway to the UK. Look at that, how many boxes? I can't even remember. And look, there's more. Such a nice day to do this. Now look, at least it's not raining. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> Lucas. That's it. Thank you very much. That's all right. Thank you. Bye. Come on, Nicola. Inside, so we've got everything that we've been waiting for for three weeks now. Three weeks. <laughs> hey guys, so it's so much later now. I think it's about nine o'clock, and we have been unpacking for hours and hours and hours. The whole place is a mess. So um, I'm not gonna like vlog the whole unpacking thing because it will take ages. Um, but yeah, that's just um, what happens today. I thought I will um, do a bit of an update and also I am going to share with you um, how you're going to actually um, move country or if you're planning to move country, specifically Norway to the UK during this pandemic, um, we will be talking um, on how you can do that. We're going to give you some tips and advices on this video. Hey guys, okay, so I'm going to share with you how we've managed to um, move from one country to another during the pandemic. If you're new to this channel, my name is Love of Faith and we used to live in Norway and now we are living here in the UK. So we have transferred from one country to another during the corona pandemic. Now I'm going to just share with you what we've done, how we've managed to pull it through and all the things that we've researched to make this happen. Maybe you are thinking about um, moving to a different country but um, you're trying to hold it back because of the pandemic situation or you're planning to visit um, a friend or a person close to you or a family member um, in a different country but you don't know what to do and how to begin. Um, so this video hopefully will help you do that. So first thing that you need to do, I've got my list here on my phone <laughs> so I won't forget. First thing you need, first thing you need to know Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you need to research it on the internet if you're allowed to travel to your destination from the country that you're traveling from. You have to check the red list. Um, so for example, in our case, we are traveling from Norway to the UK, so we need to check on the UK um, websites um, if Norway is on the red list. If it is on the red list, then you can't travel just yet. If it's not, 
then you can but you will just have to comply on all of the COVID requirements so that's the first thing that you need to know you just need to check first and see if you're allowed to travel so for example if I am going to travel from Norway to the Philippines then the Philippines will have a different restrictions about corona I am guessing you are not allowed to travel um, to the Philippines just yet so just do some bit of a research and just to see like um, if the country that you want to go to if um, they're open um, to accept you from wherever you are in the world and then secondly is what are the requirements for coronavirus for the COVID when you land um, so you're gonna have a landing card you're gonna have a COVID tracking information and testing compliance so in our case um, before we can travel from Norway to the UK we need to make sure that we can present a negative um, COVID test. Obviously, if your testing is positive, then you cannot travel, you will have to quarantine yourself. But if your test is negative, then you can travel. And um, just to um, give emphasis to this one, um, if you're gonna comply to these requirements, your testing will have to be done privately. So say for example, if you're coming from the UK, I know that here in the UK we have NHS where you can get free testing or those free test kit that you can just get in the supermarkets. Um, they are not allowed, so that's not allowed if you're traveling from the UK. It needs to be done privately. Um, so you need to, to do that and that should be a negative test result. And thirdly is, does your pre-departure test meet the requirements for the country you are traveling to? Um, in our case, um, we live in the middle of Norway. Well, we used to live in the middle of Norway, which is called Trondheim. Um, from Trondheim, we used to get direct flights from there to London, to the UK. Um, but they stopped doing that now and so if you are flying from there this is just in our experience so if you are flying from there you will have to go through um, a transit um, so you'll have to stop in a different country so in our case we have to go through Amsterdam which is the Netherlands so when you get there even if it's just transiting even if you're not going into the country you will still have to comply to the COVID requirements that they will give you and everything should be on the website. Okay, number four is upon arrival to your country destination, you will have to quarantine yourself regardless if you are vaccinated or you've got a negative test result, you will still have to quarantine just in case um, you get in contact with someone that's got positive in COVID during your travel, um, things like that. So it's still a requirement. So it's mandatory that you're going to have to quarantine yourself. So that would be a home quarantine for 10 days. So in our case, when we land here in the UK, we've quarantined because we already have a house. So we've quarantined ourselves in the house, um, all of us as a family for 10 days before we can actually leave and during those 10 days um quarantine people will gonna have to keep ringing you every day um that's from nhs because um they just want to check that you are still um in home quarantine that you didn't leave the house basically so you know like when you travel and um, you have like a vacation card that you will have to like write down on the plane um, upon arrival or before you arrive into your destination. So it's still like that so when you do your travel even with Corona um, but with the additional information you will have to like put your address and your phone number and all that so then they can actually um, trace you and contact you when you land. Um, yeah, so they will have to, so NHS people are going to like call you um, or like people that are working for like COVID, you know. Um, so they were going to call your phone number, they're going to have to ring you just to make sure that you are still um, who you are, that you don't have any symptoms or etc. And you are residing to the address that you are saying you are residing to in your card um, before you land in your country of destination. Okay, fifthly is the cost. Now you need to think about why you are traveling um, to a different country. Um, 
and so if you are just visiting a friend just um, try to consider the cost that may cost and um, when you travel because if you don't it privately it can be really costly it's not expensive so with us uh, as a family so there's the two of us because the kids doesn't need to have um, a COVID testing so for just the two of us it costs us about 800 pounds um, for the test yeah so just be prepared if you are prepared to spend that kind of money and um, if you don't have a place to stay just yet in the country of your destination you have to think about obviously the cost of the testing and then plus the quarantine hotel as well so let's say that's like 100 pounds per person a night that's 10 days so it can be really costly um so just be be more mindful of like the intention really of why you are traveling from one country to another and obviously if it's like us it's more of like we are really moving our our life <laughs> from Norway back to the UK then um, we have been um, ready for all the expenses that may yeah that is included in, in everything um, so yes, just be more prepared if you are willing to travel. Okay, number six is the requirements once you land. So like I said, here in the UK, you will have to be in home quarantine for 10 days. Um, if you are positive from coronavirus, then I believe they will have to take you into a hotel or um, like a facility um, so they can monitor you. Um, but with us, we will just be staying in the house and if you know when i said earlier that um, people were gonna call you just to make sure that you are really staying in the house and you're not leaving because once they caught you that you actually left the house and um, the fine is ten thousand pounds so if you are really um willing to take that risk then so be it um, the only time that you can um, leave the house during home quarantine is if you are actually going into the um post office or like going into the those um uh, postal services or letterbox to post your test kit because um, once you are in home quarantine then you will have to test your um, self so you'll have your own self kit test which um, you would have been uh, given or like bought prior to your flight um, and then that will be sent to you by mail into your address um, and then you will have to do it yourself at home and then that is for day two and day eight and um, that's the only time that you can actually leave the house just to post your test but other than that you're gonna have to stay at home for 10 days and after 10 days once you're free they're gonna stop contacting you <laughs> basically yeah so that's it for my um tips should i say tips yeah for the things that is uh, what we've done so far um when we travel i know that um, a lot of you just wants to get your life back and this covid situation is really holding us back but you know it should not stop you from doing the things that you want to do so long as you are prepared you are organized and you've researched everything and most especially like the intention really of why you are flying if it's not that valid i would say just don't go um but if it's um necessary then you know um i'm sure that you've you, you are prepared to to like do everything like the cost that involves and quarantine and everything um so yeah that's all for my vlog today hope you liked it don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and i am going to see you on my next video bye guys mm -hmm.